Hi, welcome to uh, podcast number two, the production values of which have skyrocketed astronomically today. Instead of being in the guest room of my house, we are actually sitting in the living room. Uh, high times and great, great uh, production values. So I hope that you enjoy this one ten times as much as the last one. Maybe uh, for the next podcast, we'll move into the formal, uh, the formal living room. And, you know, everybody will be very excited at that point. So... Also, I've been informed by people who are much smarter than I am that with this podcast, we can broadcast artwork into the artwork area of the iTunes for those of you who are so technologically advanced you understand the iTunes world, which I don't. So right now, when I snap my fingers, there's going to be an awesome uh, picture in the artwork available square down in the lower left-hand corner. And if there's not, then you can just guess that we are terribly technologically unproficient and we don't give a damn. So here we go. Huh? Did you stop it? No. Oh, you, oh. <laughs> hey, look at us. Um, okay. Uh, what, what can I tell you about? We'd like to start things off right now with a band that I spoke about last week, but I realized I didn't play a song by them. So right now I want to play you all the matches. And this is a song called Dog Eared Page. <laughs> Hey, we're back after playing that song. It's so strange because I sit here and I talk and then I say, all right, we're going to listen to a song. And then we just have to go back in and add it in later. So it's very awkward to just come back and say, hey, that was a great song when we haven't even uh, put the song into the podcast yet. But I know it is a great song. And the matches are on True in Europe right now. And uh, they're going to come back and record an awesome album for everyone to enjoy. I'd like to tell you all a story right now, something that happened to me last week. I was watching television and all of a sudden I got this horrible sharp pain in my back. And I reached my hand back to try and see what it was, and a spider was actually biting me in the back. And uh, my wife and I were joking that since I had been bitten by a spider, obviously I was going to gain superpowers and uh, begin fighting crime, a la Spider-Man. Then the next day, I'm at lunch enjoying a nice, uh, probably a veggie burrito with uh, cheddar cheese and avocado, as I'm apt to do during the week at a high-powered business meeting, enjoying my lunch uh, in Los Angeles. And walking into the restaurant is Stan Lee, creator of Spider-Man. And I wanted to walk up to him and say, hey, I got bit by a spider last night. How do these superpowers work and when exactly do I get them? That's where the actual part of the story ends and where the rest of the story that I'm going to make up right now begins. I walked up to Stan Lee and said, introduce myself. And he said, hello, and was very polite and kind. And, uh, you know, obviously it's an honor to meet Stan Lee, such a figure, a, a monumental figure in comic book world and creator of so many cool things. And I explained the whole situation about the spider. And I said, when exactly do I get my superpowers and go about fighting crime? And uh, he gave me a special card and said, go to this address. And I went to this address and I walked in. And it was just an empty room. I closed the door behind me and I'm whisked away in an elevator to 60 floors underground. And now I actually have the superpowers and am Spider-Man. True story. So uh, I'll be fighting crime any day now. And God, I suck. Okay, let's... Uh, Let's play another song. Hey, you know what we should do is we should actually call. The next song I'm going to play is by a band called Zoloft, the Rock and Roll Destroyer. Best name ever, worst name ever, you decide. Let's call Rachel from Zoloft, the Rock and Roll Destroyer, and ask her to introduce her next song. I believe that she's on tour right now, but uh, we shall find out. All right, we got Rachel Minton on the phone from Zoloft, the Rock and Roll Destroyer. Hello, Rachel. Hi, Mark. Where are you right now? I'm in our studio in Pennsylvania. Are you on tour right now, or are you off for a couple of days, or what's the deal? Yeah, we're on tour right now, but our, you know, one of our shows fell through, and we were only a few hours from home, so we decided to come home and you know, sleep in our own beds for a little bit. Cool. Um, would you like to... Inter we're going to play Argyle a Pirate, and uh, what's that song about? <laughs> what, that song's about being, um, you know, a little devilish, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I just don't even know how to <laughs> respond to that. This is all going to be edited out so that I sound like I know what the fuck I'm doing. Um, what else, Brett? What else would you like to talk about, Rachel? Anything before we play the song? Um, well, we have that on our Popsicle EP, so... Yeah, and you can buy that on the iTunes store or in your local record shop. Yes, or on our website even. Or on your website. Oh, check it out. Uh, we are very high tech and we are adding artwork to the podcast, so... Uh, Right now, as I snap my fingers, there's going to be artwork on there. How cool is that? Amazing. Uh, all right. Well, thanks for talking to us, and have fun on tour, and this is your song. Actually, I'd love it if you'd introduce it, please. Okay, definitely. Um, this is the Lost Rock and Roll Store, and the song is Arg. I'm a pirate. 